Hello and welcome to 3FPC where we talk about comics, TV, movies and video games. I'm Dan. I'm Alex. And I'm Tom. And this week we're going to be talking about things we'd like to see it turned into movies. Now that is going to include both things that already have been turned into movies that we think fail like monumentally and things that we actually would like to see for whatever reason turned into a film. But before that, we're going to have the comic book recommendations. And before that, we're going to have the news. Right, so yeah, on to the news. Um, I'll go first. Uh, we're going to have start off with um, the lineup for the expanded DC universe has been... Uh, at first it was hinted at, but now it's been confirmed by Kevin Smith. Um, first up is Shazam in July 2016. That's going to be amazing. Uh, Sandman and Christmas 2016. The Justice League film in May 2017. Wonder Woman in July 2017. A Flash Green Lantern team up in Christmas 2017. And Man of Steel 2 in May 2018. DC are fucking busy. So we have four years of film set up. Yeah, I am. I'm ready. Let's give them now. I want them now. I, I, I want Shazam so much. <laughs> you want Shazam? Yeah. Out of all of them, you want Shazam? Shazam and maybe the Flash Green Lantern team up. Really? I'm, I'm, After the Green Lantern film, you want another one? I want a decent one. <laughs> that will be covered later in the full episode. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> they've set themselves up a lot of shit I think Wonder Woman could be interesting to see I mean it was done really well in the 80s and I'm wondering how they're going to top that well uh, they've hired Gal Gadot to play her so that's already a minus on that film I have no idea who that is I think she's just a supermodel <laughs> oh oh, well, oh fucking I'm, really, isn't I'm so <laughs> surprised that they've got a supermodel to play someone who dresses up in really skimpy outfits I wonder what they might be going for on this film. Wonder Woman doesn't always dress up in skimpy outfits. It Let's was just be the early 40s and there was a lot of bondage in those comments as well. And you know what outfit <laughs> they're going to give her. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, we've got a really hot supermodel to like play, play this thing. Should we, should we maybe cover her up a bit? Or shall we, I don't know, maybe put her in the skimpiest outfit we can find? Yeah, I think it's more like a... Hey guys, we we got this feminist superhero that we need to portray. Who are we going to do it with? Let's get a supermodel. <laughs> yeah, that shows a real woman. This huge feminist icon, the, <laughs> portrayed by someone who just gets stared at by men for a living. Yeah, hey, it's all I'm going to say for that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, Shazam, Sandman, Justice League, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, Man of Steel two. Yeah, that's all I can really say on that. Shazam, I really want it. I really want it. It's Shazam. amazing. I want to see Billy Batson. And I want to see all the other little Shazam people. I don't want to see any Shazams. I'm not too keen on Shazam for them to be a film of Shazam. Shazam is amazing. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, though, this is Shazam family. He He's, what, like 10 years old? Shazam's into a full-grown adult. How old is his dad? Before he shazams, does he go to a child? Or does he start off as a child? How old was he when he had sex? What's happening? <laughs> He's as old as he needs to be. <laughs> what if it's not legal? I don't understand. Just depends what country you're in. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that solved. Yeah, uh, do you want to go next? Right, Thunderbirds are go again with the Thunderbirds reboot being confirmed by ITV Studios. And it's going to be a mixture of live action and CGI. God help us all. Do you remember that mix from the Beowulf film a couple of years ago? I have that Beowulf uh, film on DVD. It was <laughs> awful. It really was. Uh, There's not I, much you uh, can say on that other than it was awful. The thing is, though, does Thunderbirds really need another reboot? I mean, they no. failed on the last one. They brought in Busted with... Or was it even Busted? Could have been McFly to do their theme song and what, killed no. my childhood. Yeah, I loved Thunderbirds as a kid and then... I didn't. That I happened. Loved, <laughs> my I mother loved Thunderbirds, loved Thunderbirds, Stingray and Captain Scarlet. 
<laughs> I didn't like Captain Scarlet. I was all about Thunderbirds out of the two. I, I always, like Stingray. I always Stingray was liked, my favourite. No, nah, oh, Stingray was awesome. But I always just loved that one Thunderbird that just hung around in space but always felt the need to keep himself immaculately groomed. Dress and everything. It's like no one's gonna see you. You could pretty much just walk around nude. Oh dear. Imagine if they did do like a bad hair day puppet for him. <laughs> How are you? My toilet's broken and I've run out of toothpaste. <laughs> I'd pay money to see that. that that's good. what they need to do in this film. Giant, giant spoof film. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Then I wouldn't care that the live action CGI mix is going to be terrible. It's going to be As so it bad. Is. It's, it doesn't work. Why do people think it works? No. If they don't walk by jumping two feet off the floor, I will not be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I want proper arm swinging. I want them off the floor. I want to see string. <laughs> Let's actually just attach ropes to some actors and actually use yeah. them as puppets. <laughs> I, I know a boy band that did that once. <laughs> NSYNC. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Bye, bye, they, bye. they all pretended to be toys and... Oh. They can tell I'm the most informed when it comes to boy bands. <laughs> there we go. We now know who can be the, uh, the cast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. Bring in Justin Timberlake to, to make this film amazing. Yay! <laughs> work. I like JT. Leave me alone. Some films, some films. In time was good, but in anyway. time had a good concept. So Tom, you, you have you got anything you want to cover? Oh yeah, I have news. Um, Harrison Ford is dead. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's actually instead. Sorry, guy. He's actually broken his ankle and has had to miss eight weeks of filming on the new Star Wars. So he's now, he's dead, fuck it, he's dead. See, see, that's just so anticlimactic now. It's like, oh my God, Harrison Ford, Ford is dead. Oh, he broke his ankle. <laughs> oh my God, he's dead. When did, does that, oh wait, no, it's fine. <laughs> he broke his ankle, I think it was um, on the Millennium Falcon door. On the door? <laughs> yeah, he broke it on the door of the Millennium Falcon or something. Hey, we're not allowed to make preposterous claims that there's a Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is no chessboard in this film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Harrison Ford broke his ankle. He's fucked for the next eight weeks. So they're gonna have to. He's gonna have to kick it back up when he gets back. I don't in the think not he'll be kicking Falcon. much. <laughs> I don't think he'll be kicking much. If I'm honest, mate. He has two legs. He has another one who would do it from his wheelchair. He's gonna from do his space wheelchair. <laughs> Chewy, get my crutches. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alex, oh. over to you. Back to me. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, something that's being made into an animated TV show is a comic book we recommended a couple of weeks ago, and it's Rat Queens. We've now, well, me and Dan have now read it, and it was fucking amazing. And the whole time I was reading it, I was sitting there just like, this needs to be a TV show, this needs to be a movie, trying to cast the, pe the people in my head. And then I found out it's been made into an animated TV show. Can I, can I just point out, So not so much casting everyone in your head, it was more casting Kat Dennings. I was trying to cast <laughs> Kat Dennings as Hannah would be awesome. Th that, that was as far as we got with the conversation it was. So Hannah as with uh, Kat Dennings uh, and... Uh, Everyone else can be somebody else, mm. but Kat Dennings. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Gary. Fuck you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Gary. <laughs> That's a little Red Queen's inside You'll joke. have to watch it. No, oh, you have to read it to find out. It's on our recommended list, so please go read it, and you will not be disappointed. No, you will not. But something else that I'm not disappointed about no more Resident Evil hopefully after number 6 seeing as the current working oh, title gosh. is Resident Evil 6 the final chapter thank god <laughs> it, thank now people say like it should have ended after 3 it should have ended in production of 1 shouldn't even have Agreed. got to production it sh it, they should have just yeah. looked at the script and gone what the fuck is this and that was it yeah, I read some better scripts for the Resident Evil film as well, and they still went with the one that they obviously ended up with, and I don't know how they got there. 
Well, you see, what they like to do is they like to put multiple scripts in front of themselves and name them A, B, C, and D. Then they take three shots of tequila, spin all the scripts around, and then pick one at random. I thought you were being serious then. <laughs> I really did. You lost me at tequila. I was like, wait I'm, a second. Whoa. I'm, I'm this isn't happening. completely serious. Oh, okay. Do you it would know? explain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Right, oh, I'm going to feel that silence. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. sorry, I was just imagining <laughs> myself silence. drinking tequila and missing tequila. Missing tequila. Oh, so Everyone tequila. misses tequila when there's no tequila. But yeah, when you have a main protagonist called Alice that doesn't appear in any of the Resident Evil stuff at all, ever, you know you've already fucked up the entire franchise. God damn it. <sighs> Pretty much. There's, there's so much but fun. more about that later. Yeah. Yeah, so much more about that later. So much ranting about that later. So... That bitch is going down. <laughs> so Tom, save us from right. this. Right, my final piece of news is Jason Momoa uh, from Game of Thrones is set to play Aquaman in Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. I can't wait. He's he's not blonde though. Realising he's going to plop a wig on him or dye it or something. He'll have to dye his hair. Uh, for those who don't know, he was Carl Drogo. In Game of Thrones, yes. I didn't want to say his name wrong, so I avoided it completely. Yeah, he's basically the guy who rapes someone, and that's apparently the beginning of the biggest love story in TV history. Still a better love story than Twilight. Oh, <laughs> we saw <laughs> that joke coming to mind. <laughs> Sometimes I just cannot help myself. Yeah, yeah I'm hoping he keeps the beard. I'll, Keeps I'll the beard, but it. dyes it blonde. <laughs> <laughs> then you'd just be Green Arrow in water. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. I'll take that. <laughs> you look more like Green Arrow than Stephen Amell. As long as he still has his trident, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, he's a good actor. That. Could play Ackerman well. Uh, wait a second. All of his time in Game of Thrones, he didn't speak one word of English, did he? No. Nah. So how do we know he's a good actor? Because he's been in other stuff. <laughs> Oh, Have shit. you seen the right. stuff? Yes. That's a lie. <laughs> no, he was a he's a good actor in Game of Thrones. We just don't he's know a good if he can actor who doesn't English. speak English. He's, he speaks Dothraki. I don't even know. That would be amazing. Aquaman is now Dothraki. <laughs> <laughs> he's a wild seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, imagine so, coming on this. Oh no, carry the on. Great stallion gonna... of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Tom. Oh no, no, it's not even important. I was going to say a wild horsey appears. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's kind of the end of the news, isn't it? I've, that's all I've got. Yeah, that's everything. Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> all I've got too. So yeah, another very short news segment. <laughs> I like how oh shit sorry uh, I like how uh, I've been tasked with editing all of these and I haven't even finished the last one yet <laughs> the, the two shortest ones we've had and I'm still way behind well that's why we're making them short and that's the story as I'm sticking to it so our editing guy can catch up because we love him <laughs> you know that, that, that's the story the official F3, FP3, 3 FPC release so yeah, that's it for the news uh Obviously, if you're watching this part, you're on YouTube. Be sure to go check us out on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com forward slash 3FPC. Twitter, uh, at 3FPC Podcast. You do not want to miss the ranting that's going to go on. There is going to be some serious shit go down. So much rage. Yeah, we will be discussing all the uh, adaptations we'd like to see and even some that royally failed. So, yeah, please check it out on SoundCloud. Please leave comments, like, subscribe, and be sure to check out our solo channels also on YouTube, which will be linked below. And don't forget there's Twitter and Facebook as well. We would love it if you uh, joined the group where you can see the 3FPC mascot, Bat Cow. Oh, fucking Bat Cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have him on my wall. Fuck it. I'm going to get him framed. Oh, I redid, I redid him because old Bat Cow died because it got ripped in transit. So I, in transit. I got I, I read Not it. malnutrition. Not malnutrition, no. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So yeah, we shall if you're watching this on YouTube, please check out the SoundCloud. And if not, go check out oh, anyway, you fucking cunt. Sorry. And this wow. just became an 18 rated video. <laughs> well Jesus, done. That was some anger. <laughs>
<laughs> you need to call your shit. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> I've been Dan. I've been Alex. And I've been Tom. We shall see you on SoundCloud or next time. <laughs>